the pre-dawn darkness at Cape Canaveral, fuel is piped aboard the Redstone rocket that will carry Captain Virgil Grissom aloft in the second act of the drama that the U.S. hopes will put a man on the moon. The captain, the country's second spaceman, arrives at the launching pad to go aboard the Mercury capsule just about four hours before the scheduled launch. There's a hurried pace to pre-launch preparations, and the astronaut has only time for a quick glance at the sky before taking the gantry elevator. Officials are trying to fit the twice-postponed launching into a clear spot in the fast-changing Florida weather, and it's an accelerated countdown. Still, Captain Grissom will have to sweat it out from 4.30 to 8.20 before takeoff. The cameras record drama at its highest as he goes aboard the capsule to follow in the footsteps of Commander Alan Shepard, Jr., the first U.S. man into space. Again, our space shot is being made in the full glare of worldwide publicity. Unlike the Russians, who have never given any advance billing to their attempts and no information on their failures, the United States has invited representatives of all nations to witness our success or failure. With the captain aboard, the two-ton, two-million-dollar Mercury capsule, named Liberty Bell 7, is poised atop the redstone as last-minute checks continue. Commander Shepard, the nation's first space traveler, is in the control center as the countdown approaches zero. The historic moment is at hand. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff.